What's up, everyone? Nethervoid here with Factorio, episode 30. A couple things we want to do today. I really want to get the construction robots working because I want to tear all this out and recreate our main bus now that we have more space because we don't have as many biters on our ass all the time. So what I noticed, though, is our circuits are really not coming out as fast as we need them. See the green circuits are really backed up? Well, basically, it's too slow, not producing fast enough on this side. That's because the copper is not coming out fast enough. Um, I think the reason for that is, and our forge is really not producing as quick as I'd like it to, it should be completely full. It's actually really slow at this point. I don't know why. I think it's because we need to increase the plate buffer. The plate buffer is too low. It seems that this, it, our, our buffer for chests is actually 50 to 60,000. And so what the problem is, is, um, let's just do this and zoom in a little bit. The chests on this side for copper are completely full and that means only these guys are producing right because it's kind of lopsided so the way I want to do this is I need to increase the buffer on this thing we know that 10,000 is the lowest amount right so why don't we make this like less than 15,000 right let's just make that 15 this should be 20 right let's just keep going up because because uh, we're having issues right now producing copper plates um, and we're going to do that also with iron. This would be 25, right? 25,000. 30,000. Why is it always clicking on that side? And then 40, or like 35,000. Come on, click over here. Come on. <laughs> Work with me. That way we can get a lot more copper working in here. And I can't touch that one. That's what. Mm, the, the bad man said. <laughs> oh my god, that was so wrong. All right, now we got more copper running in. Let's do the same thing here. Let's put this to 15. Right? Uh, well, we don't need that. What are you doing, man? Uh, this will be 20. This should get us really starting to use more of our system here. 25. We didn't need this before because we weren't using as many plates. Now that we are, uh, we really need to use this system, the whole thing. 30 we already should have been doing this because it's never going to get to 5000 because we we don't even output until it's 10000 right so we should have started it at 10000 at least that's why i'm starting this thing at, at 15000 that's enough to say look we need to do something here 15000 you know is way too low so now we've got wait 35k see 15 15 20 25 30 35 40 30 35 this should be 40 not 35 so let's change that to 40 real quick there we go now we've got a lot of ore coming out more of these dudes are working let's see 15 20 25 30 35 40 perfect now let's go look at our forge we might have to actually add more to our forge yeah we're getting to that point where we're gonna have to add more I'm gonna do that off camera because we need to really start working here but that's going to help out our copper system down here. I'm not sure if I'm going to ch change this a lot. I probably will reset it to be more of a burster um, and reset these circuits because remember I wanted to put uh, a little bit better balancing in here. Uh, we have balance problems. So as you can see, this guy is really taking... He's not getting enough plate. Why? I think part of the problem is let's put some splitters in here to help this guy out. That's what's going on. We don't have enough um, dudes helping out right here. Let's get another splitter real quick, hopefully. Because now we have issues. There we go. Now all these guys can help this guy out. There we go. Now we're full. That's how it should have been in the beginning. Because what happens is this guy's pulling off this just one line, and there's these guys can't help at all. So this actually feeds all these lines into here. We should probably be doing that with this as well. Let's produce some more of those fast splitters. We'll be doing those. Um, we'll be automating those once we get our new system here. Actually, it should be like this. There we go. There. Now we can help keep those green circuits flowing, which will keep the red circuits flowing, which keeps everything downstream flowing, right? Good. Good. That's fixed. Awesome. Probably should have put a balancer right there to rebalance all this stuff so it comes out kind of even. 
I'll probably be doing that off camera as well. So, okay, we'll all increase the forge. Yeah, our forge is running full blast now. Definitely need to increase it off camera. Um, one thing I was working on off camera to get ready for this next piece, which is logistics. You can see plastic full up. Awesome. What we did with cracking is working. Um, I need to get logistics robots, which if you look at logistics robots since I've been working on that, actually we need some research, don't we? Let's start working on, um, what was I doing? And I didn't move this over. And that's really bad on my part. Uh, we're going to work on character logistics. That way there's a slot in my inventory to say, hey, go get me some stuff. I need, I'm out of fast inserters. Go get me some logistics robots, right? So I'm going to start setting the science up so that we can get this logistics system working really good. So I came in the spaghetti right here. And I uh, plumbed in some steel and gears right here. We're going to be running it down this way because I want to start producing engines. Engines, oh, I don't think that's going to interact, will it? No, it won't good because we need to do something here as well. Now, engines is what you need to produce robots. Uh, if you look at robots right here, logistics and um, also construction, they need flying robot frames, right? They both do. So if you look at flying robot frame, which I think is mm, here, yes. Electric engine unit. If you look at electric engine unit, it requires an engine, circuits, and uh, lubricant, which we have not created yet, we will. So let's start creating some engines. So you can see why I did the steel and iron gear uh, piping in. That's what I did right there. Um, wanted to do that off camera because we've been really um, just kind of using up a lot of camera time for this kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is tell this thing just like this. I'm just going to copy it. Let's plumb it in with some red wiring here. We have a few more pieces. Let's hook this guy up to the network. And we're just going to copy this condition over. There we go. Now we got pipe flowing through there. And we can use that to create an engine. Uh, we need more of these. We don't have enough. Let's go grab some more. I love that we have all this stuff automated. So I don't have to build this stuff anymore. Let's go get half as much of these again as well. There we go. So we don't have to craft those, which is perfect. That is exactly the way I want this system to work. And once we get the logistics robots feeding us things, we will be good. We won't have to do any of that stuff. Let's produce that stuff here, which means we probably can cut it off here. But we're going to do a fast inserter, and then we'll do a long inserter which means we probably don't need that and we don't need that or this. Let's put all of our, well, we're probably going to need that pipe because we're going to be piping in the lubricant down here. Let's move this dude. We don't need him so close. And we need a long inserter, right? There we go. Maybe some power down here. Let's say, look dude, build engines. So it takes a while to actually construct these engines. You can actually add modules here. We haven't talked about these yet. Um, you can get modules to do like increased speed, increased efficiency, which means you use less parts to create the item. Uh, there's a few other things that are pretty cool with modules. We haven't used those yet. You actually have to um, use modules in other crafting uh, recipes down the line. So we'll be doing those in the future. But right now, I'm not too concerned with it. Maybe we should do two of these because these are really, really slow. The problem is we can't output. Maybe we can draw it in this way and output down. Let's try that. Let's pick this guy up first. Uh, no, we didn't pick up both of them, did we? We're dumb. So we're going to turn this to turn it exactly. Just, just you know, we're going to to turn it. We're going to go this way, like this. And I'm not going to screw around too much with this. Let's see. Let's do two of these. Like that. And we'll do them directly into the electric or the electric uh, engines one. So we'll do this. Uh, nope, we can't do it like that because we need more space, which is completely fine. We're going to be ripping all this out anyway. That's what I kind of wanted to avoid is so much reworking of everything. And we can do that. But we're going to need that spot. We can put it here. Let's see. Fast. We'll just do regular inserters. Like that. Regular inserter out. Actually, we'll just do it over here. We are actually not going to be able to do that yet. So we'll just do it on this side, actually. There we go. 
Well, we're going to want a buffer, aren't we? I kind of do. Let's put a buffer in here. So let's do this. For our buffer, pick it up with this dude. Oh, no. Uh, into a chest. So we'll go like this. It's going to need to be a smart chest because I want to keep a few of these guys around. I'm pretty sure I don't have one of those. Let's make one. Okay, and then into the regular, um, the electric engine dude. So smart, smart insert for that guy. Connect it up. Again, we won't have to do this once we have logistics. We won't need circuit networks as much. Um, but we're going to say, look, when you have more than, I'm going to say 20 engines, we probably, well, let's do 50 engines. Because we might need it for other things, like the car is something I want to get, so I can drive around more. We don't need it yet because there's not a lot of places to go. We'll say, when you have more than 50 engines, then go for it. These guys are going to produce engines. Let's see. Mm, where are you? Engines. There we go. So we're going to need... Um, there we go. Some short... Some regular inserters. And a couple of longhand inserters. Hmm. You know me and symmetry. Let's just extend that out so we can do this. Because I want to power these guys in the center. Watch. I'm going to do this. There we go. Now we're making engines. Now we're cooking with gas. There we go. These take a while. And that's why I set up two. So with that, I'll be able to build a car. Uh, as well as build some logistics robots. So let's say electric engine with this guy. Which means we're going to need lubricant and what else? Electronic circuits and, and regular engines. We can probably pull those from, well, probably can pull them from here, to be completely honest. Yeah, watch watch this. We can do this. Watch this crap. Smart, right? Now, again, we're going to be ripping this out, so don't concern yourself with how stupid <laughs> this actually is. But we don't really care right now. We're just trying to get this thing working. So we'll do this. Oh no, actually that was perfect. Like that. <laughs> Watch this crap. We'll do fast. We'll do fast inserter out and in. Well, why not, right? Well, this needs to be smart. So I want you to filter electronic circuits. Go. Sweet, huh? I'm dumb. I know, but it works. There. Now it needs lubricant. I'm going to put it in on this side. Engines are coming in. We only want, let's say, that much. Yeah, we want about that much. Now let's plumb, let's get the lubricant working. Now I think lubricant is chemical plant. Um, yeah, made in the chemical plant. So let's make a couple chemical plants. Maybe we can make, we already have one. Probably only need one more. Where is that dude? Here he is. There we go. Because we have one. There we go. We have one right there. So we probably don't need tons of lubricant. That's never what she said. Okay, so here's trash as well. This, When we have this, we can put stuff like wood in the trash area of the inventory. And you'll see, once we have all this set up, I'll show you exactly how this works. But this will let us get rid of crap. And I think it just puts it in storage chests. Um, so you can actually use it later. I don't think it really actually destroys it. So what we're going to do is bring it along this bus right here. This is going to be the refinery bus. We're going to clean this all up and make it like a lot prettier. Probably going to use a train from our... Uh, refinery to the actual area where we're going to need this. Um, the one weird thing about this is the problem really is you can't you can't um, you now you can barrel up oil. You can't barrel up lubricant as far as I know. It's only oil at this point which is really unfortunate because I really wanted to barrel up lubricant which you know <laughs> for obvious reasons right. Um, <laughs> let's just look at what uh, you need, was required here. Okay, heavy oil. All right, <laughs> get your mine out of the gutter because mine's there too. So just wanted to let you know. All right, how are we gonna do this? Let's think a little bit. I, I just want to think a tiny bit here. Just gonna run it right through here, right? Something like that. Let's look. There, where's our? Get out of the way, stupid pipes! Hurry up! We ain't got all day. All right, so we're going to run it right, right here, possibly. Maybe down here. Yeah, probably run it over here. 
So let's get back over here. Mm, that's going to be odd running it through there. We'll run it down this way. Cut over right here, and then we'll run it down that way. Okay, so let's just you do two of these. We've been doing three for everything, though. Kind of want to run it in this way and out the other way. Let's make one more of these just for fun. Can't hurt, right? Actually, we want... We actually want a little bit of a buffer. Remember, buffers in your system, good idea, right? So we'll do another one, and of course it comes in right when I place the last one down, huh? And we'll power this. We're going to need a special um, one of the large power poles. That'd be awesome, but no dice. All right, let's power this sucker up. Tell it what it's making. You're making lubricant. And we might be able to move that power pole. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to just do out right here. What I'm going to do, and I don't have pipe, do I? Yes, I do. Sweet. Good, because I did not want to run back and get any. Although we did store some up here, which is awesome. I'm going to run it all along here and then pipe to ground the whole damn thing. Which isn't going to help us a lot, I don't think. We'll try. Nope, see? That's not going to work. These are too close. Hmm. Let's move this whole thing. There we go. I think we can put this guy, like, over here. Hmm. Kind of want this thing out of the way. Sort of out of the way right there. And then there we go. All right, everybody's powered. Good. Let's do pipe to ground. Oh, let's set these guys up again. You're making lubricant. There we go. Pretty simple. It's just the heavy. Oops. The nice thing is this actually consumes some of your heavy. Because I know part of the problem is the refinery doesn't want to... Why, why am I having such a problem here? It doesn't want to produce. Actually, let's do this. This is, this is too crazy. Oops. But here's my number or something. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Whatever. I'm so dumb. All right, here we go. That is way easier. Do the same thing on this side. We're going to need some... Res some uh, do pipe to ground right there. We're going to need, let's say, four of these dudes. The uh, storage tanks. There we go. They craft up fairly quickly. We'll do a pipe to ground to these dudes. Then we're going to go pipe to ground probably through here. Yeah, probably right through here. Let's start setting that up. And I don't know what... Wait a minute. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, they're all crafted, so let's just get them in here. There we go. Learn my lesson last time, huh? Actually, why don't we plumb them in so they're exactly perfect? Which probably means... Let's hook it up to this guy. Let's line this dude up. So I want this to run right here, right? That's not enough space. So we'll turn it a little bit. We're going to run them like right here. Actually, I should do it like that. So let's run it like this. There we go. Okay. Pipe to ground. Success. We have lubricant. Sweet. Lubricant's all you guys need. You know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? No. What do you know what I'm saying? Please know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> We're going to come off this way. We, the funny thing, we got to plumb this thing all the way down. So we're going to be hating everything. We're going to be hating the sun, the moon, everything. Actually, we can do this. Can we go all the way under? Mm, nope. It doesn't know what to do now. So we got to turn. And the turn is going to be really short. We should just turn up here. What am I doing? Uh, let's see. Okay, so we're going to pipe to ground again. Then we're going to turn. We're going to take take care of that dude. Let's see. Where are we turning? That's a good spot. Let's hook these dudes up again so they don't we don't run out of coal. There we go. Nobody's running through here anyway. All right. 
We gotta get this in so we can make get those electric engines running real quick here. That's perfect. And again, we're gonna have to turn because we cannot go over this. It won't work. It says no to that. It says uh, no. So we'll, let's put a turn in right there. We can't do that. Where are we gonna? Oh, we're gonna plumb it in right here. Why don't we do this? Let's do a turn here. Uh, not there. Man, that that sucks. We're pretty much boned right here. We have too many pipe. I thought this pipe was gonna be super easy. Well, first let's let's do this. Let's set up some more of this. So now that we have character logistics slot one and trash, let's do logistics system. So what we're really doing here is we want these chests. Requester chest is a chest that goes on the logistics system that says, hey, I need a certain item. Usually it's to craft or something, where you say you're requesting uh, inserters or something, it, and your assembler is going to take those inserters and create something. Uh, so this is a great little chest to have when you have dis disjointed systems. Like, we might do this to move our plastics and other things if we can't fit a train in there. So let's get that guy while we keep plumbing this in. Where are we here? We're here, we're under here. We could go around, down over here. It's kind of convoluted, but we could do it. Kind of want to run along here. That's what I really want. That's what I, I want that right there. Can I go over this? Maybe. Let's see if I can, yeah, I can. Let's do that, and we'll just turn it right here to there, and then we'll just go that way. There we go. So I'll take this out, that. All right, sweet. Let's get some of this in so I kind of know what I'm doing here. We might need more pipe as well. Lubricant, 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 lubricant. Okay, we're moving this way plumbing this whole thing in. This is a really long distance to, to uh, be putting in. Oh! Damage! I need to put some some of these laser turrets in down here. So we're pissing somebody off. Who are we pissing off? Oops. Let's zoom out a little bit. Ah! That base there. Pissing them off big time. Too much, too much pollution. You're pissing us off. Well, you're about to get lasered in the face. Because five laser turrets were pretty much handling large bases. So I kind of feel like yeah, here we got five. We got four there. We're doing fine. Let's replace these with laser turrets, which is what we'll be doing with all of our defenses. It doesn't matter what way they're faced; they will turn when they need to shoot at stuff. You got anything near here? Uh, kind of. Let's just do this. There we go. And then there. Okay, we're protected. We don't even. I'm not even gonna repair that stupid that wall. It's not worth it. I'm going to have my bots go over there and pick up all that crap anyway. Alright, the express. Let's ride the express. Also, when I get a bunch of concrete in here on, on our final base, um, I'll be able to run around a lot faster so we won't have uh, issues. How many pipe to ground do I have? I'm almost out. Let's grab some more from our little stash over here. We're going to need to refill that stash because it's almost out. 32 might do it. Let's make some more while we're just standing around. There we go. Why are we making pipe? I have pipe on me. Oh, I don't. That's why. Alright, let's get some pipe. Apparently I don't even have any. There. Now we should, when we make pipe to ground, it should just make them. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, so now we've got our main line in. We should be able to plummet all the way under this, except now we've got to turn because we're right on the battery line. Let's do this. Can we get all the way? Oh my god, we almost can. One more and we can do it. Damn it. Well, we can turn this. It's unorthodox, but we can turn this. There we go. Again, we're going to be changing all this anyway, so I, don't, I don't really don't care. Um, I do want to take this probably, um, maybe on the outside of these guys. I don't know. It doesn't matter too much, really. Let's do it on the inside. Well, actually, the inside won't work because the inside is near the, the water. Remember we were having problems with that? 
Let's turn it right here. We'll go to this side. And then we're going to turn again. Actually, let's just use regular pipe right here. Plus, we need to put, we need to plumb this thing in so you know what we got, right? So with this, I'll just turn this all the way around because I want to follow this belt. This is probably a bad idea. What I'm doing is probably not a good idea, actually. Uh, yes, I can go under the wall. Sweet. All right. So far, so good. Um, this is taking a long time. Just be, I probably should have done the rest of this. What? Oh yeah, we're good. The rest of this off camera, but I, I don't. I don't like doing that. When I'm plumbing in something new, I don't really like doing it off camera. I like to show you guys what I'm doing. So we're gonna go around the corner right here, which means we're gonna need to hook up with this dude. Which means we need that. There we go. I wonder if I can do like a, nope, can't do that. <laughs> I was like, you know that that uh, thing with power poles. I was thinking maybe I can just kind of let it uh, drag and drop or whatever, and it'll do everything I need it to do, but it won't. So let's go underneath right here, and then we're gonna want to plumb it, probably down this direction, just right in the back. I think we're gonna run out of these. I don't think we have enough. Luckily, we're really close to our um, supply now, but we're getting... Well, actually, we have 17 left, right? We should be, I think, kind of okay. The nice thing about these is you can go really far with just the one pipe. So it makes a lot of sense, actually, to use these. It kind of cuts down on the amount of pipes you need. Why don't we go this direction now? Because this actually has a specific way it has to go in. So let's make sure we get this in correctly. All right, we're going to hook it up right here. What do you mean, no? Oh, I have to go in the top? Let's rotate this piece of crap. Can't you? Can't rotate it? Why not? Huh. Oh, okay. We'll just go down this way, I guess. And let's do it to there. So we need pipe to ground. There we go. Run the whole thing off the back here. Super, super simple. Just having to deal with some trees. Not a big deal, though. We're almost done. And then where do we need to turn it? We are almost... I've actually never... This is as far as I've ever gotten in the game. So this, I'm kind of excited about this stuff. I've never had a logistics system in yet. Um, so this is going to be really awesome. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where guys are doing it. But I've never had that ability just to kind of pull stuff out of the system and have it ready to rock, you know what I mean? Okay, now we've got lubricant all the way in to our electrical engines here. We should be crafting them right now. Well, actually, where are we going to put them? Let's do pipe to ground right here. There we go. There, now we can just say output to a box right and probably only need about 50 of these there now we're crafting them so we should have a nice backlog of engines now good because we've been producing these all the whole time we've been plumbing in the uh, lubricant there so now we've got some electric engine units building up now these take a long time so this is where I probably would use speed units but I think probably just need two of these why don't we just make two of them now? Sorry, I was uh, having a little bit of refreshment there. The problem is I can't turn these. Let me see if I can turn this sucker. If I say you were for engines... Yes, I can turn it. Why can't I turn this guy? Oh my god. So why don't we have the... Hmm, that won't work either. Hmm. Why don't we do this? Let's pick this up. Pick this up. Let's pick all this stuff up. Engine. Yes, that's great. No, pick you up too. Let's let's do this. We're going to have all the engines come this way. Down to a chest down here. Oh, uh, we don't want that. So it's going to pick up here to a chest. 
smart chest. In fact, just like we had it doing before, right? So we'll put all the engines in there. I should have a lot. Yep. There we go. We're going to say, okay, now, when you have a bunch of engines, and I kind of want to, let's curve it back. Actually, no, that's perfect. We're going to curve this up into there. Hmm. No, this is, okay, no, 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 this is perfect. We'll do, we'll do this. Curve up at. Watch this crap. Boom. Look at that. Look at that crap. Look how awesome that is. That's, that's freaking awesome right there. Pull all this out. We don't need this stuff anymore. We don't need any of this. We're going we're gonna to recreate this whole thing. Watch this. Okay, so. We're going to curve this back around, and this will be the input. We're going to have two of these suckers running. So when. What we're going to say is, look, dude, we need more wire, don't we? Let's make a few more. Let's get some. Okay, so we just got logistics. Now I want logistic robot speed. I'll tell you why. Uh, it adds 35% speed bonus because robots have to fly to pick up whatever it is and to drop it off to you or wherever they need to drop it off, right? Um, so this actually adds 35% speed while they're flying around. So let's start researching that. While we're sitting here just doing nothing, um, let's get some wire in there. We well, we're gonna need those, but we really need the wire right now. All right, let's hook this guy up. This guy says, "Okay, again, when you have more than 50 engines, uh, let her rip." Oops, I think it was on it. Engines. There we go. So sweet. Now we're all good to go. We can drop two of these dudes. And no, we can't. We can, well, I guess we can because we can bring the lubricant in right here. In the top, we can export out the bottom. The lubricant can come in right here. Now we're going to need the um, pipes again. There we go. So I want to bring it in right here. Let's say you're making uh, electric engines. Turn you. There we go. So I'll bring the lubricant up right here. We'll turn it. And do a lot of turning right here. Actually, we don't need that anymore. Let's do regular pipe. There we go. Lubricant is good. And then we're going to output down here. Like that. And these guys are going to basically put it. Like do this. And then we'll just do a chest right here. Uh, we probably don't need fast inserters or anything. There, everything's powered. Oh, no, we can't do that. Pipe to ground right there. Oh, okay, we can do pipe to ground right there. Let's do that. Oop. There we go. We'll do a regular inserter right here. And we'll do one over here. There. Now we're ready to rock. We've got everything we need. Sweet. Perfect. Let's just let's just do this to 50. There. Now he's he'll be stuck at 50 right there. There we go. Everything's all set up. Now the next thing we can do, as you can see, we have trash slots right here and we have logistics slots to actually say, "Look, keep me stocked with X," right? We don't have anything yet because we don't have any robots, so that's kind of the reason we don't have anything right there. We don't have anything going. I'm going to trash that wood in the uh, next episode probably. We're good to go, though. That's episode 30, getting ready to produce robots. we got our, our lubricant in, and we're getting our electrical engines, which we will use to produce robots. We're going to be hooking all that stuff up to the network. So the reason why I have these buffers is so I can replace that with a logistics chest, and then it will serve our system with regular engines. If we need an engine, it, the lo robot will go grab it. Same thing with these electric ones, the robot will go grab it, right? I thought I did this. Actually, let's... Eh, probably 50 would be fine. So that's going to do it for episode 30, getting the lubricant, uh, first of all, processed, and secondly, 
getting it hooked up into these electrical engines so we can start making some robots on the next episode. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, favor, and subscribe and all that stuff. And as always, everyone, stay frosty.